Hello again folks, Sean here once again. I've decided tonight's going to be a double feature for Beer Snobby Goodness, being that as of the time of this recording, it is Friday, and this is just what I feel like freaking doing. So, to keep it, you know, consistent for, for the double feature mood, we're going to go with another Flying Dog edition. This is the Underdog Atlantic Lager. Unlike my barley wine, this is one that the guys at Flying Dog serve year-round. It's basically designed to be a light, refreshing beer with a robust hop character. <clears throat> I'm also hoping at the fact that the top kind of exploded upon opening is not a bad omen for this. Hmm. Well, it's a lager, not an IPA, so I don't expect the aroma to be as in-your-face robust. Seems characteristic, consistent, I should say, with a lager. Let's see. There we go. Got my trusty notes here. Let's see, as I said, this is a light and refreshing beer, 4.7% alcohol content. Utilizes um, rye, carapils, and wheat malts, and pearl and goldings hops, and the yeast. Ooh, the yeast's a proprietary lager strain. I guess that means it's top secret. Yeah, they, they could tell me, but then they'd have to kill me. Oh well, easy come, easy go. And, uh, yeah. No, yeah, good, good to know. Anyway. Hmm. Listen. As I've said, it, it passes the urine sample uh, test. Doesn't look like one. So, uh, let's see what we get here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Not too great. Not too bad either. It's, um... I mean, the flavor is not super robust, man. Now, I know a lot of these light summer refreshers are usually not kicking, you know, they're not in your face, per se, with the flavor. <clears throat> that, that said, you know, I mean, my personal preferences, I, I still like a good hearty flavor in a beer, even when it's uh, lighter alcohol content. But, you know, not bad. Tr truth be told, I'd probably have one of these guys sooner than the, uh, the barley wine from Flying Dog that I reviewed earlier. So, <clears throat> I don't know. So, so far, I've reviewed three of them, and, you know, eh. We'll see. I've still got the Imperial Porter, which, you know, we'll see how that one goes. And uh, that'll about do it. And, and in case anyone has not already guessed, you know, from my somewhat raspier voice, de dealing with a bit of a cold right now. So, you know, what one of my delightful symptoms on the tail end of a cold is my sense of taste goes away, literally, for one to two days. So if that occurs, my my little self-indulgent beer posts here will go on hiatus for a brief period. <clears throat> but hopefully that won't occur. And, and for those of you wondering, you know, why I'm drinking a beer when I have uh, a slight cold that I'm getting over, um, beer has alcohol. Alcohol it kills germs. Yeah. <clears throat> no, it doesn't. <clears throat> anyway, that'll do it for me. And uh, until next time, this is Sean. Cheers.